How we doing today, YouTube? Deesky from Deesky Grills back with another cooking video. And today we are making a chicken teriyaki stir fry on the Weber Summit charcoal grill. So easy cook to do. You know I'll show you step by step what we're gonna do. Let's go to the cutting board real quick and check out the ingredients for today's cook. First, we have stir fry veggies. Okay, this will be a part of our stir fry, right? So we have broccoli, carrots, we have the snack peas, all kinds of goodness in here. We have a little bit of cabbage. We also have mushrooms. We're gonna add some mushrooms to this awesome stir fry today. Can't have chicken teriyaki without chicken. So what I have is chicken breast. Now, as far as our marinades, this is gonna be a process where we marinate our chicken breast for about three hours before we start the cook. So for that marinade, I have the Kinkleman's marinade and sauce, teriyaki. I have regular teriyaki sauce. We have sesame oil and we have rice wine vinegar. Now, again, a part of the stir fry, you got to have rice. We have rice. So these are all of our ingredients. I can't wait to show you how we're going to do this. So what we're going to do first is go ahead and get the chicken cut up and get it in the marinade. And from there, I'll take you guys out there to that awesome Weber Summit charcoal grill. We're going to use the wok attachment and do some great things out there. I want to thank you as always for joining me and let's get cooking. Okay, we are back at the cutting board. So as you can see, we have six beautiful chicken breasts here. They've already been cleaned. All I'm gonna do now is start cutting them into pieces. And that's gonna be what we put in our Ziploc bag right here with our teriyaki marinade. So that's all we got going on right now, folks. So I'll get started on it real quick. And then I'll take it off camera and uh, complete the uh, cutting of these chicken breasts. So I'm just gonna go right here in the middle. And then from there, folks, we're just talking about getting some nice strips and some pieces, okay? So that's all we're gonna do. Let's go right through here. It's easy enough. Now, six chicken breasts, I mean, that makes up a lot of meat. So I probably will use two or three of them to just grill on the side today and just have those on the side of something later on uh, throughout the week, okay? So nice, nice little pieces. And they're just little squares is what I'm trying to to get here. Very easy. Let's do the same thing with this one here. Okay, we are back. So now let's go ahead and start the marinating process. I just have a regular Ziploc gallon bag. We have nice chunks or cubes of chicken breast. We'll just get those added. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and pour our marinade in. I wanna make sure it is coated well, so we're gonna go with it. I wasn't planning on keeping any of this stuff, so if it takes the whole bottle, so be it. The main thing is to make sure this is submerged in really well. Okay, so as you can see, we are fully submerged. We use the whole 15 ounce bottle. So what we're gonna do now is put this chicken in the refrigerator for a minimum of four hours, and then I will get back with you guys when it's time to check out the next process. Okay, we are back. It is four hours later, and I wanted to show you the uh, end product of this marinade before we take it out and get the stir fry process going, okay? But first, check out the stir fry medley we have. We have broccoli, we have carrots, we have broccoli stalks, and snow peas. So I have two bags of these. They're gonna mix up really, really well with the stir fry. Here is our awesome marinade. Now, what I did, three hours into the marinade, I added one whole onion 
and mushroom, okay? Because I wanted those to also soak in that awesome teriyaki flavor. So this is what we got, folks. So what I want to do now is take you outside, show you the grill setup, and then we can get ready to start cooking. I'll meet you guys outside. Okay, folks, we are outside at the awesome Weber Summit Charcoal Grill. We also have our wok. This is by Weber as well. All a part of the Weber Gourmet Barbecue System. Now, this is the uh, marinated chicken that I uh, showed you just a second ago from the inside. So I brought that out, and I'll go ahead and bring out the uh, other ingredients as well. But let's check out the grill setup. So what I have right now, we are at about 270 degrees. I have the rapid fire totally open right now. So we have air pushing through here. This grill will get up to temperature in no time flat. In the meantime, let me open this up and show you the grill setup. Okay, strictly Kingsford charcoal. I took the insert out. This is why this is open right here. The insert, which is another awesome feature of this grill, how you can just sit it to the side. I just moved it to the side of the grill. So there's our insert hanging right there. So what we're gonna do in place of that empty hole is put our wok. So let's do that right now. We'll just grab it and place it dead in the middle. This is why this grill is so versatile and awesome setup, okay? So what I want to do is let this wok get up to temperature. So while that is happening, we'll go in the house and get the rest of the ingredients, bring them out. So all in one place, that's what everything is with the Summit. It makes it really, really easy to do some good cooking out here. I will go get the rest of the ingredients. We'll get them on the uh, tabletop over here while we get the grill up to temperature. So right now, let's close it up. Let's open our rapid fire back up, okay? And then in about five or 10 minutes, folks, we will be up to about 400 to 500 degrees, and it'll be time to start cooking up this awesome chicken on the wok. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, folks, we are back, and here is the time that we are waiting for, right? Let's get cooking. I want you to see right now, we have our damper, our uh, rapid fire assist wide open. Look at this baby climbing. We're at 520 degrees, and it's only been 10 minutes since I opened this up. So it takes no time at all. This baby is still climbing. Now, what I did is I added vegetable oil into the wok for the last three minutes. So I know that oil is piping hot, and it is time now to go ahead and get our chicken started. Look at this thing. Still climbing, folks. Let's get this chicken going. We have us a hot wok waiting to do some awesome Japanese style cooking. I wanna go ahead and get this stuff added right now. Here we are. Versatility, folks. Versatility of the Weber Summit Charcoal Grill. Second to none. Okay, so we pretty much emptied the bag. This is just our marinade. Let's go ahead now and start moving this chicken around. Now, I have spices that we're gonna add throughout the cook, but what we wanna do first is go ahead and get this chicken good seared and cooked pretty thoroughly. Then we're gonna come on back with our veggies. Now, in the meantime, we're gonna be adding other oils and spices because we want this to build up a authentic Japanese type flavor. So I'm gonna close the lid right now, let this cook for a minute, and I'll get back with you guys in about two or three minutes. Okay, we are back. It's been two minutes later. It's time to give it a stir again. We are right at 500, 510 degrees. Let's get this baby opened up and moved around. Look at this, folks. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. This wok accessory is absolutely phenomenal. When you want to come out here and do a little taste of the Orient, you have the ability to do that uh, when cooking on this grill. So this is a, a treat, another thing I truly enjoy. Okay, so we have this added. We are going to let the chicken cook for at least about two more minutes before we start adding the veggies. I want to make sure our chicken is close to being thoroughly cooked before we start adding everything else. So I'm going to add a sweet cooking rice seasoning. This is a Kinkaman's um, version. This is great. This is a part of authentic Japanese cooking. It is salted and seasoned. So you just want to add some of that. Okay. And this is going to replace me adding oil later on. So let's go with a little bit of that. 
and we'll close the lid back up and let this baby continue cooking. I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, we are back. Now we're up to 540 degrees. It's been about four more minutes. Our chicken should be ready now. Let's check it out. Look at that, folks. Absolutely amazing. This chicken looks phenomenal. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is go ahead and add our veggies. So let's go ahead and do that. Again, this is a stir fry medley. Let's get that added. We wanna give them a chance to cook down before we come back with more spices for this blend. Now, along with this, I wanna add a couple of dashes of sesame oil. Okay, this is sesame seed oil. This is another authentic thing for good oriental type cooking, okay? We'll do that right now. Okay, I'm closing the lid back up. I'll get back with you guys in about two or three more minutes. Okay, we are back. Three minutes later, we are back at 500 degrees with the uh, rapid fire totally open. I'm gonna go ahead now, open it up, and let's give these veggies a twist and turn a little bit. Everything is coming along amazing, folks. Look at that. So this is what we want, right? We wanna make sure that our veggies start getting soft. And that's what's happening right now. We have an awesome flame happening here. Our chicken is definitely done. Okay, and then what I want you to pay attention to is you see the juices that we still have on the bottom. Now remember, we're gonna add rice. That rice is gonna soak up all of this awesome goodness down there. So the idea is to let these veggies go for maybe another minute, and then we'll come back and add rice. So I'll go ahead now, get this baby shut down, and check back with you guys in one minute, no more than two, when it's time to add the rice. See you guys in a bit. Okay, we are back again. The grill has been climbing back up to 500 degrees. It is at 470. It's been one minute later, and I wanna go ahead and open it up and add our rice. Look at that, folks. Absolutely unreal, unreal. Let's get our rice added to this. Now, so I cooked the rice earlier today and then I put it in the refrigerator to let it cool. Now that is another key. I mean, I love to have the rice ready. It makes it so much easier. We're gonna go ahead and get all of this added, mix it around a little bit. There we go, folks. Now look at that, think about it, y'all. This rice is gonna absorb all of that juice that we saw at the bottom. It's gonna get embedded into this rice and what we're gonna have is one awesome chicken teriyaki stir fry. Okay, so there we go, our rice is added. I wanna give it a couple of turns and then I'm gonna add more of our kinkaman seasoning to this blend. But first, I wanna move the rice around a little bit and start soaking up all of these juices. This is what it's all about. You know, cooking all sorts of things, man. Being versatile in your profile also is cool, you know? So dinner night can be steak one day, it can be chicken the next day, it can be a stir fry the next day, it can be kebabs the following day. I mean, hey, you know, it's all about your imagination, how far you wanna take this thing, but you can do it all on the grill, folks, and that's all I wanna share with everybody. This is really good stuff. Okay, I'll check back with you guys in a second. What I wanna do is keep on working this. I'll do it right now to make sure we are soaking up those juices. And that is what we're doing now. You can see, okay? I'll add a little bit more of the rice seasoning. Let's do that real quick. Okay, not much, just a little. All right, and then what we're gonna do next is come on back with our teriyaki sauce. That is what we're going to infuse this baby with towards the end of this cook, okay? So I'll see you guys in about another minute. It'll be time to add our teriyaki. Okay, we are back. It's been about two more minutes later. It's time now to start adding our teriyaki. Look at that. Now it's time to start coating this baby with this awesome teriyaki sauce. This is awesome, folks. This is awesome. Okay, folks, so what we're gonna do is keep this moving to make sure we minimize it sticking on the bottom. And then I'll meet you guys at the cutting board for the final product of our chicken teriyaki stir fry made on the Weber Summit Charcoal Grill. Thanks for hanging in there with me. See you guys at the cutting board. 
Okay, folks, we are back. I want you to hear the sizzle. Listen for it. Absolutely unreal. We just took this off the grill. What we have is chicken teriyaki stir fry done right. We have carrots. We have chicken. We have broccoli. We have rice. We have mushrooms. We use awesome teriyaki seasonings. We also use sesame seed oil. We actually used all kinds of good oriental spices to make this wonderful chicken teriyaki stir fry. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe to my channel. Let others know what DT Grills is up to. And as always, at DT Grills, grilling is not a pastime, it's a passion. Through and through, folks. Absolutely delicious. The family is gonna have a taste of the Orient tonight on DT Grills. You guys enjoy the rest of the evening. Thanks for joining me.